try to be uh, a little physical out there. You hit, you get hit, and that's just, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's just the way it is, and that's the way it should be, and I've just always loved that part of the game. I was playing a lot of sports when I was younger, but uh, I was fell in love with, with hockey. Every time I get, every time I get to the ice, I was so excited to, to play all the time. Here is Salmon looking to the front side of that. First game was I was so nervous. Like in the beginning, I, I was sitting in the in the dressing room and I was a little bit nervous. But when when I came out, it was so crowded and, and every, every every guy was standing up because it was the first game and that was it was a huge moment for me. But uh, the, that ended up pretty good. Send away is a beauty. In solo, Macron. Which one's which? Identical twins, identical facial hair, and identical numbers. Whenever one scores, the other one assists on it. Henrik Sedin out front to Daniel, he scores! When something happens on the, on the ice, he knows where I want him to go, and I know where, where, he, where he's going to be, so that's uh, just the reading off each other, I guess. Daniel Sedin stops, Henrik Sedin shoots, scores! They're so much the same. I think they've had some fun with that, being able to continue. Picking it behind the net to Burles. In front for Henrik. Down low to Daniel who scores! It's unbelievable how these boys throw the puck around. Henrik to Daniel. He intercepts. Banks it ahead. Here's Daniel in on the right side. Daniel spin move. Backhander scores! What a goal! And it's 2-1 Vancouver. You've got to be kidding me. A spinorama move by Daniel Sedin. Chrome went to the net and nearly got one to fake in off him. And that's what Mike Babcock was talking about. Here's Henrik Sedin back. 50 move. Oh, what a goal! Henrik Sedin has makes a goal as he scored in the national. Daniel's alone at center. It's Henrik actually. He's got the puck cutting it on goal. Henrik beats to Daniel who scores. Henrik looked like he was going to tuck it in himself, but he dropped it off, and it's 2-1 Vancouver. Get out the highlight reel again. The Sedins are putting on another show. They are magic together. In 1994, the Ottawa Senators took a sixth-round flyer on a scrappy winger from Sweden named Daniel Alfredson. What they got in return was a franchise cornerstone. The player I was uh, coming into the league was, you know, hardworking, gritty, and I learned and improved my shot. Is probably the thing I've improved the most. Become more of a goal scorer. And and take on that role a little bit. At times throughout his career, Alfredson's motivation has been questioned as early playoff exits became the norm. That stigma was finally removed in 2007 as his sins made their first Stanley Cup Finals appearance. Alfredson in again. Here he got in. Scores! Alfredson scores and the series is over. And the Ottawa Senators are going on to the Stanley Cup Championship. It's been a progression, getting the experience from us, you know, being the worst team in the league my first year to disappointments in the playoffs and, you know, last year finally making it to the finals and now knowing still we have a good team and, you know, hopefully can, can do that again. Is it really possible that Marcus Naslin is in his 11th season with the Vancouver Canucks? 11 years of highlight real moments. And Danzel shoots, scores! Tries to stop the puck, and Danzel scores! And the rebound! Shoots, rebound, Danzel scores! Well, breaks straight up the middle, and loose to the pass, he scores! Great goal by Marcus Naslin! With Platt, Danzel shoots, scores! Tenth goal of the year! So 
And more than a decade after arriving from Pittsburgh, a new season brings hope, a fresh start, and for the team, a common goal. He came to Toronto under the toughest of circumstances. A 23-year-old traded for the franchise's longtime captain, then replacing one of the most revered Leafs of all time as captain just three years later. I think I'm ready for the, the leadership role, and uh, I think I'm going to do a pretty good job. They took the torch and skated with it like no one else in team history. Sundin fakes his shot, gets in tight, and scores! Sundin working to the left side! Here's Sundin, he's in there! He scores! For all his personal success, it wasn't until Sundin's fifth season in Toronto that he led the Leafs past the first round of the playoffs. Sundin then guided the Leafs to six straight trips to the postseason, including two conference final bursts. His playoff years will be remembered for a run of success against the Senators. Thomas gave it to Sundin, they go up the net, Sundin scores! That's Sundin, bullet shot, and the Toronto Maple Leafs win the first game on the best of seven. But, just like the players he replaced, Sundin couldn't carry the Leafs into the Stanley Cup Final. The Buffalo Sabres are going to move on to the Stanley Cup Final. Sundin has received criticism over the years in the hockey hotbed of Toronto. To many Leaf fans, he has not struck a chord like his predecessors. Not as tenacious as Clark. Not as passionate as Gilmore. But despite never having an elite winger by his side, the man who has represented Toronto in the All-Star game nine times has never stopped producing. 11 straight 70-point seasons. In on the line for Sundin to hold and put back to Sundin to 